Yeah! What's this? Keys? Hosting? On a Friday? Oh, actually, that's... That's normal. That's what we do usually. Well, thank God it is Friday because I'm ready to... <coughs> uh, uh... Alright, let's just... Samsung has begun mass production of second generation high bandwidth memory. AMD's Radeon R9 Nano featured first gen HBM, which was limited to 4 gigabytes per GPU or 1 gigabyte per memory stack. HBM2 ups the limit to 16 gigabytes or 4 gigs per stack and doubles the bandwidth to 256 gigabytes per second. Altogether, this technically allows for graphics cards with 16 gigabytes of memory and a bandwidth of 1024 gigabytes per second or a terabyte per second. Meanwhile, mysterious sources are claiming that Nvidia will unveil its Pascal GPU featuring HBM2 before summer, with availability coming in the second half of 2016. But we know Gensun is a real trickster, so maybe we'll see the Titan X successor at GTC in April? Eh? Eh? Oh, he's bashful. Speaking of graphics memory, the other next-gen memory standard, GDDR5X, has had its specs officially published by JEDEC, which stands for a bunch of words, but it's it's just the association that publishes these things, okay? While not as impressive as HBM, GDDR5X has double the bandwidth of GDDR5 and shares similar designs, so it's likely we'll see it in most GPUs from AMD and NVIDIA, while the flagship level cards get HBM. <laughs> they would. It's no fair. And a bunch of news outlets have reported that Space Sim Elite Dangerous would not be getting official Oculus Rift support. However, Watch out, because they be tripping. The misunderstanding came about after the game's developer, Frontier, gave a statement to Eurogamer saying they've chosen to focus on Steam VR. Many news outlets took this to mean Frontier wouldn't be supporting Oculus at all, but really, they were just prioritizing Steam VR because HTC and Valve released the consumer SDK for the Vive, or Vive, first. Frontier has since said they're absolutely still working with Oculus to get Rift support. So, just goes to show, don't assume. It makes me an ass. Mmm. That's that's not right. Today's quick bits comes from Ian Takes Pictures on Instagram. Quick bits. Hmm. I like the confusion there. Intel apparently plans to introduce CPUs made on the 10 nanometer process by 2017, but with Broadwell and Skylake both using 14 nanometer, this means Intel could be breaking their usual TikTok cycle for a TikTok talk cycle. Intel, that's that's not what clocks sound like. IBM has bought live streaming company Ustream for around $130 million. I was going to say the streaming war just got more intense, but it's IBM, so it's probably just got more normal. NVIDIA will be upgrading their high-end mobile GPUs, the GTX 970M and 980M, by sticking an X on the end, because that's what you do when you don't know what else to call it. The MX versions of the chips will have slightly higher specs than the originals, so keep your eye out for some fancy new gaming laptops, probably at Computex. SpaceX has released a video showing its Dragon capsule hovering by using its eight Super Draco engines, and I'm just talking about this because it looks super cool. Netflix has followed through with its threat to block users using VPNs to get around regional restrictions, which will just make people go use torrents again, so... Nice one. And Honda's going to launch their hydrogen-powered Clarity fuel cell sedan by the end of this year, which is obviously going to end in disaster. Do none of these people remember the Hindenburg? I do. I do. News sources for all of today's stories can be found in the forum post linked in the description. Hi. I'm so sorry. This week is NCIX's Coast to Coast Savings Event, because there's two coasts, so there's a two in there, one coast to the other one. They're taking a roller coaster from one to the other. <coughs> the Canadian deal is a SanDisk X300 512GB SSD for $189.99, and the American deal is an MSI Radeon R9 380 Armor 2X Edition, for $188.99. That's just $1 apart. Yeah! So click here, here for Canada, here for the US, or the links in the description for all this week's deals. And remember, NCIX has a new sale every week, so, so come on back now. Just come, come back every, every week.
please. All right, that's it for Netlink Daily, guys. Thanks for watching. Click here to watch more videos. Follow us on Tweeters over here, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to spend some quality time with this studio because we'll be moving to another one soon. Okay. I, I didn't know we were going to have to that. No, well, there it is. It's like 99 let us know in the comments whether you want to see us vlog our escapades while we do so. He's gonna be in them, I guess. So, maybe, maybe you don't want them. I don't know. Whatever. Jack, get out of there!